Seeking to tell me stories amongst the sea's edge, waiting to whisper tales that will certainly unfold. Blue skies and sunshine are discussing the perfect days to greet me, waiting to be with me, creating the right momentum to bring forth the beauty of a new day. Blue skies and sunshine, you see, they beckon me. Scream my name, urging me to move forward, never dragging my feet, instead prance. Leaving behind the Novembers and Decembers, only taking positive memories from the Januaries and February. March. March forward toward blue skies and sunshine, you see. They call me, beckoning me to finish the season I'm in quite strong. For it won't be long before summer welcomes me and then I'll see. Endless blue skies and sunshine created uniquely for me. I am going to be trying a new work schedule, which kind of worked out well for me yesterday. Um, I find that with the baby being six months old and being a little bit more fussy um, due to teething and just growing and needing mama's attention. And then remote learning and trying to film videos, do live videos and chat and take notes on the logs that have, that have to take notes on to prove that I'm working, that it can become a bit stressful for me. So I am going to try this schedule to work 30 minutes on and 30 minutes off. So when I say off, I don't mean like off sitting, doing nothing, but just switch the medium so 30 minutes of me being right in front of my computer filming a video checking notes helping a student um, planning for next assignments and just doing all the things I have to do for remote learning and then the next 30 minutes I switched to stimuli to either playing with the baby getting ready for a diaper change or feeding um, to nurse or pump milk or to pick up the stuff from the living room, get her toys in order, just all of the things that I have to do and to see if this um, new routine or new schedule is going to be um, less stressful for me, at least for this week. So 30 minutes on, 30 minutes off. The process of loading my assignments into my Google Classroom. Normally it takes me about an hour every morning just to plan everything and make sure I have enough teaching video content for my students to immediately engage in before our morning meeting. At the same time, sometimes I am actually planning for my daughter's homeschool lessons because um, I have a middle schooler and even before this COVID-19 outbreak, she was homeschooled for the past two years. And I am her teacher, so I spend that time in the morning getting some of her things done as well. Um, and I'm a little bit late today um, due to not feeling well. And the baby's schedule was off a little bit throughout the night. And I'm a little bit late, so I'm going to go ahead and open up my Google Classrooms and begin. I am so thankful to be a mother of a thoughtful 12-year-old. She actually put us in a group in the Bible app to begin reading the Bible again in one year. And as you can see, I am a little behind. So while I am entering my assignments into my Google Classroom, I make sure to listen to my daily lesson for the day. Okay, boo-boo, mommy's coming. 
peekaboo. Good morning. Good morning, Lily Jean. Good morning, Daddy. My husband and I are both teachers. Since our new remote learning schedules, it's my routine to get up before the two of them and he takes care of her while I enter in all of my work for the morning for my students. So this is her first time seeing me today. Okay, you want milk? You do milk? You want some milk? Okay. okay. to watch my thoughts because as you can see there are those who have it worse off than I do so I am reluctant to complain and be thankful for everything in this season you are my sunshine my only sunshine you make me happy when skies are gray you'll never know dear how much I love you Please don't take my sunshine away. Mwah. Let me see your teeth. Ah, 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 da, da, da. Where is Ada? Da, da? Da, da? Oh, I see him. Me and Lily Jean are going to sign into um, the live morning meeting um, on my YouTube channel. Uh, so, yay! Are you going to be good, good listeners? Come on. Good morning, Lily Jean. Say good morning, Mama. Say hi, friends. Say hi. Say good morning, Boo. Good morning to all of my fifth graders out there. I want you to know that today is a great day, no matter what it looks like, no matter what it feels like. Today is a great day. So I'm here again with Little Miss Lily Jean. Okay. I'm going to set a timer for 30 minutes and see what or if my students need anything. Let's X out of this and go into this. I always like to check my class dojo which is um, an assortment of things that many schools and teachers use, um, but primarily to communicate with parents because that's where parents talk to me directly. And my Google Classroom is mainly um, student interaction with me. And this parent is telling me about her internet access and that's why I'm not doing like a bunch of online stuff. Um, and I make myself available through Google Voice, which you can anybody can sign up for a Google Voice number. It allows you to generate a phone number in which you can use your device to speak to people on where you don't want to give them your personal information. And it also scrambles the number so the number isn't coming from your personal phone number. And it allows you to screen your calls because if someone dials that number, they have to identify themselves first before the call um, is put through to you and you can make a decision on if you want to accept it. Another thing about Google Voice is you can send text messages and um, it um, translates or will change all of your voicemails to a text. So you can get that immediately if you can't like, you know, click on the app to listen to the message. Um, and this parent is telling me that she doesn't have something wrong with the internet. And that's why as a teacher, I'm not comparing what I'm doing to what other teachers are doing because I know the situation, situations of my students and some of them are able to handle Zoom meetups or Google Hangouts and everything online. So I'm just going to message her and reassure her that, you know, don't focus so much on the online options and just have him do what um, he can without the internet. I 
After 30 minutes of checking emails and chatting with students in Google Classroom and helping parents in Class Dojo, it's time to film a lesson. Hi, Mrs. Wilkins here, your favorite fifth grade teacher. I'm here to give a little help from the My Math Book Volume 2. Okay, 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 okay. We've got three more minutes, but I'm going to get you baby cares nothing for the fact that mommy has three more minutes left on a timer but after all her needs are the priority so I decide to edit my video and upload it while I get her ready for her first nap and as you can see again I'm late for that so I take her and give my husband a time to get some work done with his students important to prioritize and my children are my priority now time to get something nutritious into my body because I know that my body is a temple and if I don't take care of it I'll be no good to take care of the people that I am trusted to serve off to wash a few dishes take a few calls answer a few texts and emails, all before the baby wakes up. Okay, up from your first nap. 30 minute break or whatever it takes to feed the baby, to feed myself. Okay, let's go ahead and make some pairs, boo-boo. Okay, it's coming. It's coming, baby. Okay, you really don't have to yell. Eyes and so Um, going to wheel her to my office door and let her sit there and play with this spoon for a little bit. Um, and her maybe her teeth are not the spoon because she might jab it down too far. Um, and check my messages. Blue skies and sunshine. Blue skies and sunshine. You cannot play with the pen. Look, look, look. You write on your face, look. You got pen on your cheek, your chin. Look. You're trying to eat the pen, you got pen. Yes. Okay, go with daddy. Daddy's gonna take you for a walk. Uh, 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 no. okay, it's about like, I think it's after 12 now, and my husband just took the baby for a walk, and she is being very fussy today. Um, and that's why I said, as a teacher, I'm not going to compare myself and what I'm doing for remote learning to what other people are doing because I have a baby at home and we're both teachers and there's no way that I could have him having her while I'm sitting at the computer for six hours and vice versa because, you know, we just, we have to share the responsibility of taking care of her and working from home. Um, so while he's taking for her for a walk, now that I'm done my cup of tea, um, I'm going to check in with my Google Classroom and messages. And honestly, I have to like give myself a break. Like I said, when I woke up this morning, I wasn't feeling good. And look, and here's the internet. We're using internet, using the hotspots on our phone. Like, and that's another issue that kind of is you know crazy so i purposely think working for 30 minutes and then switching the stimuli whether it be to check on the baby or tend to the baby or give my husband a break from the baby is what's worked for me so 30 minutes on and 30 minutes off is what um is working best for me at this time and maybe tomorrow it might be a little bit different for me you know in the Bible, it says two are better than one. So I love how my husband and I share the responsibility of taking care of our baby. So that means it's back to work for mama while baby naps. 30 minutes on, 30 minutes off today. So I'm going to check in with the messages from parents. Sit here and like chat with students and get things done and I'm going to check other programs to see how the students are doing those, like my fast math program um, and the Redbird to see how my students are doing on that. 
and take some notes as to what I did to contact my parents within that time frame. So I know you're probably wondering about my 12 year old. So since the outbreak of COVID-19, she decided that she really missed spending time with her dad. So lately she's decided to spend one week at mommy's and the other week at daddy's. Now, having a perfectly blended family is something that I strive for. So we share the responsibility quite nicely since she was about two years old. Now, time to go get the baby ready for the day and get her some clothes on, even if we're only traveling to the front yard for a bit. I'm looking to see who's been on it today and how long they were on it for. Six, seven people have been on Redbird today, so I'm just going to give like an all-call blast to parents, just telling them to remind their students to log on to Redbird. Just saying, please let me know if you need anything. Anything or a phone call, I am here to help. As the day comes to a close, I decide to give a call to those parents and students who need me using the Google Voice app. Then I check the assignments that have been submitted and give them feedback for the day. It's hard. It's new and challenging. The new environment and expectations and rules that the pandemic swept in are demanding. And sometimes they scream so loudly, you just desire what once was. When I began homeschooling my daughter two years ago, then introducing a new baby into that equation, I felt my earthquake. But eventually, everything fell into place as I began to lean on my village. Lean on your village. Teachers are your village. Now, it's time. It's time to go meet the blue skies and sunshine. You see, they call me. They are beckoning me. Blue skies and sun.